Right now, dozens of students are still recovering after a semi truck slammed into a school bus. Good morning, Tampa Bay. I'm Melissa Mahadeo in for James Tully and good morning. I'm Dia Riley. Thankfully, though, everybody survived the accident, but 22 people did have to be taken to a hospital. Yeah, ABC Action News reporter Ashley Yor is live at Tampa General Hospital. That's where two students were rushed yesterday. So Ashley, how are they doing today? Lindsay, thanks. Breaking news right now out of Jacksonville. Very early this morning, the FDLE issued a missing child alert for this two year old right here. Now we have posted his picture up on our Facebook page. When you see it in your timeline, we're asking that you take a second and you share this. Authorities say that child legend Jones may be with the man you see on the right right now. That's Keith Martin. It's important to note in order to issue a missing child alert, investigators must have a reason to believe that he is in danger. The two could be traveling in a green BMW with the Florida tag 4258UW. The FDLE says the car has tinted windows, a black bag over the rear driver's side window, and a scratch on the back driver's side. If you see them or that car, Please call 911. Two Pinellas County deputies have been suspended this morning after a violent confrontation with a Seminole man. Right here, this is the dash cam video. Take a good look at it. It shows the deputies hitting Jamira's Reed. Now, the sheriff says he suspended them because of the way they handled the incident by putting themselves in a dangerous situation, not because they used force. The sheriff says his deputies thought Reed had a semi automatic handgun. Reed is facing various charges, including one count of battery on a law enforcement officer. Now, according to the sheriff, his deputies were justified in using that force, but Reed's attorney disagrees. Authorities say two guns were found in Reed's car. His attorney tells us the guns were never taken out of the car and also demands the sheriff fire those two deputies. But here's the thing. The gesture can get expensive. And it can get a little bit confusing on who deserves what. So before you start handing out that cash, ABC Action News reporter Sean Daly has a few tips on tipping. Two schools are back to normal this morning after being evacuated over a bomb scare yesterday. Deputies say James Irvin sent faxes to Sebring and Avon Park High Schools, threatening to set off explosives and demanding money. Search teams never found anything in those schools. Irvin is now facing charges. Officials say both schools started on time this morning. While well, happening today, the man accused of plowing his car into a crowd and killing a woman during a protest at a white nationalist rally in Charlottesville, Virginia, will be in court. Hundreds of counter protesters and white nationalists clashed at that rally back in August over the removal of a Confederate statue. Charlottesville police say that James Alex Fields Jr. barreled his car into the crowd, killing 32 year old Heather Hager. The city is increasing security ahead of today's hearing. The report is showing distracted driving and speeding are two of the major factors in those crashes. Another alarming find, the number of teens dying from car crashes on their way to and from school has increased by 13% in just the past three years. The study found several dangerous roads just outside of Tampa Bay schools. You can see just how safe your child's school is by using this interactive map. All you have to do is zoom into your city, find your school, and you will see the number of crashes that have happened nearby. We've posted this link, by the way, on our website, abcactionnews.com. It's also up on our free mobile app. Okay, so this weekend is the Miss Florida USA competition happening right here in Tampa, and organizers want to make sure that all women feel good about themselves. This is such a great story. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee introduces us to one contestant who is doing her best to spread that message to others.